What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Off the Couch Boxing. I'm your host, Reckless Rex Ruger, still packing the good one, too. And this is Alexis Arguello, the puppet. And I'm your other host, Frank Benjis, and we are back with another one. Correct. And uh, as we maybe mentioned in a couple other uh, recent episodes, uh, at the time of this recording, again, this is March 3rd. We are at the Turning Stone Resort Casino in Verona, New York. Hospitable to us press folks. We were in press row uh, right up front watching a fantastic card. Um, let me get that out of the way. Watching a fantastic card, man, of championship boxing, championship level boxing. We saw uh, a featherweight title double header. Uh, we'll get to that later, man, the results of that and what we saw, man. But all in all, it was a great night. Uh, not only was off the couch boxing in the house, uh, hip hop icon Flavor Flav was rocking out with us in the house. He was in attendance to cheer on uh, a couple fighters he likes, uh, one being uh, Muhammad Ali's grandson, Nico Ali Walsh. It looked like yeah. the other one was uh, uh, yeah, Floyd Cash Flow Diaz. And uh, I see. Yeah, Isley, uh, all three of the aforementioned uh, fighters all did uh, subsequently end up winning their fights. Yes, they did. So congratulations to, as we said, Floyd Cash, Flo Diaz, uh, uh, Troy the Transformer, Isley, and, uh, of course, Nico Ali Walsh continuing to carry the torch for the Ali legacy. Yo, he's doing that legacy righteous. Ten and one. Yeah, I mean, ten and one. uh yeah, he's just, you know, he's getting it done. He's getting it done. And uh, uh, Troy Isley looked amazing. He got a stoppage. Uh, I don't think, like, sitting in press row, I've never seen live boxing before, obviously. Uh, I, I There wasn't a bad fight. I didn't watch a bad fight. Yeah. And, of course, there were people floating around the audience that we also got to rub elbows with. Uh you know, I, I, people there that we already know previously uh, from the show, uh, uh, you know, people that were trying to get on the show that we're in currently in talks with. Uh, we got to see uh, the great uh, Bruce Shushu Carrington Jr. was in the house. Uh, uh, Abraham Supernova was in the house. Uh, who the hell else do we see there? We mentioned Flavor Flav was in the house. Flavor Flav was definitely not really boxing, not really boxer related, but uh, of course, part of the broadcast team, Tim Bradley in the house, Chris Algieri in the house, both former champions, respectively. Benny's right hand man, BSF City Boy, was in the house. Yeah, yeah, it was the place to be in upstate New York on March the 2nd. Uh, it just was, you know, the fights were popping, man. Big congratulations to, uh, you know, we had a, a fantastic main event and co main event, as I said, a featherweight title double header. Uh, the first one was uh, the I current IBF champ. Uh, oh shit, dude! I didn't even know Alberto Lopez. When I when I saw when I saw City Boy, uh, he like he was talking to Ann at first, and he said, and Ann said, "Oh, my boy's over there," and and uh, I said, "Yo, what up?" And then City Boy said to me, "Yo, you got that shit on," because I was wearing the hoodie. Yeah, I don't even know why I ended up wearing that hoodie, but I just was wearing it for fucking whatever and. Our co-main event ended up being uh, Rhea Abe versus uh, Luis Alberto Lopez. Uh, uh, Lopez retained his IBF uh, title. Uh, and then in the actual main event, the one people really came to see was the vacant WBA featherweight title. That was uh, Odebeck Kolmatov, Bruce Lee. As he's known, because uh, he is a spinning image of Bruce Lee. Jesus Christ, man! Raymond the Savage Ford. Yeah, and Raymond Savage Ford from from Joyzy, another a tough East Coast guy, man. And he pulled out a wild one. Uh, I think he was down on most of the people on Press Row's card. He was down on mine by two points. Now, who told us today? Uh, Riesland, uh, Riesland said that uh, officially he saw the official cards and he was officially down. Yeah, on the cards. Yeah, yeah, um, he was, yeah, and uh, yeah, I had him going into round 12, uh, yeah, he was down by like, yeah, yeah, two points, and then seven seconds left to go in the 12th round, seven, folks, seven, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, yeah, I don't, 
I don't think when he got that stoppage, there was an ass in their seat. Everybody was up. The crowd was nuts, man. The crowd was nuts earlier in the evening, too, for uh, 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 for hometown favorite Bryce Mills from Syracuse, oh, New York. The crowd yeah. was bananas for Bryce Mills. Yeah, bananas. He came out repping a Jerry McNamara jersey uh, from Cuse. As he should. As he should. The great Jerry McNamara gave us some wonderful memories. But yeah, in the main event, though, man, the, the place did go berserk, man. Uh, uh, it, it, you know, he, he gets a stoppage with seven seconds left to go, man. And in a in a fight that he was ultimately in another seven seconds was going to lose. Yep. It was going to go to the cards. Uh, and he was not going to be the, he was probably more than likely not going to be the champion. Oh I don't want to rule out, I don't about really. how wasn't going to be a champion at all because obviously, man, we still do see cards that make us sit back and scratch our head, our balls, whatever the hell it is that we scratch, man, and say, how the hell did this happen? And, uh, but so the only way Raymond Savage Ford would have ended up with the title is if he got the benefit of some of those, uh, those cards that we speak of. Yeah. But I mean, like I mentioned before, uh, that, that guy said that he saw their official cards were dropped and he was down on all those cards. Yeah. So they weren't going to, they weren't screwing anybody. And a he big shout out. Up. And a big shout out to these guys, man. Not because they either are going to do our podcast or, you know, have agreed to do it or we're in talks to do it, man. But, uh, Big shout out to uh, awesome seeing, as I mentioned, Bruce Shushu Carrington Jr. there, who, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a week or two ago, previous to us recording this episode right now, scored a spectacular knockout victory himself. So, Shu York keeps rolling on, man. And uh, uh, very gracious young man, uh, charismatic, affable, personable. So, when we get him on here to chop it up with us, and we will. Oh, yeah. It's we're going to be a fun one. Brucey. Yeah, it's yeah, it's gonna be a fun one, and uh, and also shout big shout out to rep repping the five one eight, another uh, uh, upstate New York guy, uh, uh, Abraham Nova, who uh, I gotta give him the utmost credit, man, for the self promotion, man, goes around with a mascot of himself, who was also in attendance last night. Yep. Yeah, and he that guy, in that night. Bob and Weave, man, he knows yeah. how to work. Yeah, Abraham Nova knows how to work up a crowd. And I'll tell you what, there were more people that wanted their picture taken just with that damn mascot. People were going bananas for that mascot. You would have thought that was that was the real uh, Abraham Nova. I mean, people were taking their picture with the mascot and then walking away. <laughs> yeah, job well done, Abraham Nova. And I'm not just stroking your ego, man, uh, you, you know, because we want you to come on to uh, a podcast with fellow upstate New Yorkers, which I do believe he'll do the right thing and do. Uh, you, you know, he gave us his word last night. So, I mean, you know, I trust these guys. I take them at their word, man. Like, these are men. These are solid men. You know I mean? Yeah, these are guys. Of, you had to say it again, too. We kind of blew up his spot because nobody knew, recognized him or anything. Yeah. He was just walking along there, and I'm like, yo, that's Abraham Nova. <laughs> there he is. Well, it would have been awfully tough to, uh, uh, you know, to see. Uh, hold on a second. You, you keep talking. I got a call from Duke Micah. Talk yeah. to the folks. Hello? I mean, it's really, like, hello. much to talk to him about, but I yeah, will I, say. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I sent you the link. Are you coming on? It's quite the experience because I to you. I, I've never seen live boxing and to sit that close was like a dream come true. Yeah, it was. We're finally getting the respect we deserve. It was great oh. to be on press row. Oh. Sorry, oh. I hate to, you, you, know, you were listening sorry, to the way the boxing business calls, man, when you're running a wildly successful podcast as we are. And, uh, and look at this. We even got a guest dropping in. We even got a guest dropping in. Unanswered. Unanswered, mind you. <laughs> Boy, do I got questions for this guy. Let's see. Do we got him in here? I don't know. Yes, no, maybe so. I don't know. That was very poetic, though. Oh, yeah, you're a regular old uh, young MC. I'm a regular Walt Whitman. Yeah. 
I'm a regular Walter Whitman. There's only one Walter Whitman. Or Robert Frost. I don't know, no, remember, no, remember, remember, that's how young MC was used to rap. Well, I thought we had a guest coming in here. I'm not so sure that he isn't experiencing technical difficulties or, you know, whatever the hell is going on his end. But let's not derail that from a good chin wag, uh, you know, between the two of us. We'll get back to our, we'll see if he pops in here, but we'll get back to our, uh, yeah. So all in all, a fantastic night. Uh, another big congratulations to Troy, Transformer Isley, uh, Team Bomac, you know, the coaching staff, to end all coaching staffs, does it again. Yep. Yep. You want success? You go to Team Bomac. Dude, I don't know. Did Troy, did I, did, did that guy even punch Troy? I don't know. I'm not even sure Troy was ever even hit last night. I, I don't, don't think know. Marcos Hernandez landed a thing. Yeah. I'm not so sure, man. <laughs> I mean, we saw Troy on the way back to uh, our car uh, and he looked great. He didn't even look like he'd even been in a scrap. <laughs> 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 he looked like he just played like 18 holes of golf. It looked, like he, it looked like he was just out for dinner with his old lady. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was certainly none the worse for wear. I mean, so he looked like he had an easy night. That's what you call an easy night at the office, folks, right there. And, uh, I, yeah, yeah, you know, but Troy, I, but, but obviously Troy is going to be stepping up in competition here very soon. He's got the goods. I mean, you can see he's a total package. He did. And I, and you can go to our Facebook page and see specifically of his performance. I've got four or five videos in chronological order of, of, you know, throughout the fight. Uh, but you can obviously see, and I believe that I, I, I was doing a little background commentary and I was calling his body work a masterclass. And it was. And the way he was fucking changing levels, going downstairs, man, beating up dude's bread basket, and then coming upstairs and piecing him up, up, uh, you know, uh, up in the up about the head face region. Dude, you know what, you know what separates guys for me when the jab is powerful. When I notice that a guy's jab is really affecting the other guy, I'm like, yeah, this isn't gonna go long. Right. Like, Troy's got that. Like, he snaps that piston jab out there, and he keeps moving, stabbing it to the body. Yeah, you know Troy like, is nice. talking about yeah. head, body, and that jab is just so nice, and his footwork, and he's moving. He just was – he was incredible to watch. And then when you see Bryce Mills getting ready to come down to the ring for his fight, and he's rocking the Jerry Mack jersey, man, the, the Syracuse, the number three, you know, uh, we, that, we almost blew the roof off the place. Oh, man. Oh, man. It was electric in there, man. He came up on the TV first. You couldn't even see him. He was still backstage. Yeah. He had a huge jersey on. He was strutting yeah. out. But easily, I would say, though, man, the performances of the night, I really would have liked to have seen a lot more uh, of Brian Norman Jr. There was an unfortunate uh, 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 cut there that resulted in a no decision. Yeah, that was an unfortunate fight. Yeah. That one was... Uh... That one was sad. I, I was like, I don't have the call sheet in front of me, but I can remember a lot of the guys who looked uh, spectacular. Obviously, we said Nico Ali Walsh. Uh, hold on a second here. Obviously, Nico Ali Walsh looked fantastic. Yeah, that Rohan Polanco. He was oh, a yeah. kid that had yeah. the yeah. jab. Do we got you? Yes, sir. There he is. I'm glad you finally joined us, man. Uh, I'm, and I'm glad we finally got a chance to do this. I think what a lot of people are going to know, and I want to ask you right off the rip, Duke. Is uh uh it's been a while since you've had a fight and on box rec, and you know box rec is never wrong. Box rec had you as inactive. Are you actively fighting still? Yeah, I, I'm I'll, I'll be I'll be back very soon. You know, okay. because of my work I to fight, so um um I go um rest small home. Okay, I go okay. back home to Africa here. So now I'm back in the US, so I'm getting ready to come back again. Do you like it more in the U.S. or do you like it more back in in in, in Africa? No, probably. I think um, in Africa, you know, you have. We, I know places that I feel running there. You know, I know places that I use there to run. So I think I love busy in Africa too. Um, well, I want to say, dude, well, you're talking about Africa. I, I, I see the food. Online I mean, all the time. I want to try that so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Good. What is this? Are we already talking about food already? 
No, the the fufu, right? The white uh the white dough and you pick it the 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 um the gravy, like the gravy almost. Yeah, what gravy, is it? Gravy, what is yeah. it? You tell me what it is. What is it? Yeah, um, you know, it, it, this is African that um food, so that <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's I don't know how to explain it, but <laughs> it's just it taste good though. Mm -hmm. yeah, but what do you know good. about it? When have you had it? No, I haven't had it, but it looks good. I see it on the internet, and it looks good, and I would love to try it. Like I'm saying, yeah. he probably, I was saying, he probably had it mad times. Yeah, he yeah, you, 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 you will love it when you try. You will love it. Yeah, so like you have bread. You dip in like the gravy, and you eat it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You're gonna love it. <laughs> And so you're 24 and one and 19 knockouts. That's pr that's pretty damn good, Duke. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, that's why I want to come back again. And and you have and you have any uh, idea of like who you'd like as an opponent? That, like like if you were able to choose, is there somebody that you want to fight specifically? Yeah, for now, for now, because because uh, I've been sitting down for um, three years now. So now I want to come and shake up and. Look forward to telling the best ones. Who like uh like uh what what yeah. what weight what weight you plan on coming coming back at? I think um I think one eighteen. One eighteen. Okay. Yeah. One eighteen. So where's the Nui now? He's gone, right? Where's the Nui up to now? The Nui's at get, He's at one twenty two. I think, think why uh anyway, right? Anyway. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Yeah. Musta, yeah. Probably right. Musa is the one. Mus Mu is the one that I'm looking forward to fight because he's oh. the, he's the topest boxer. Anyway, yeah, you know, he's the very 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 good good. You know, he's very good. Hey, wait, Duke. Does this mean that we're calling him out right now, Duke? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes? My money guys here. No, are we calling? Oh, I, 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 I I'm getting the we, feeling we that we're fight anyway. Okay, there we go. We've got it down specifically, right? Okay, there we go. Now we've got an official clickbait moment right Tell there. You know, and, uh, we, this is my manager, right? There he is. Yes. Yeah, he, hey, hey. How's it going? He wants to fight. He wants to fight Inui. Inui. Yeah. We want to fight yeah. Inui. Yeah. Yes. I like the way far. they say it better. If that's the right Inui. way. Inui. Anyway, we don't go far. Like a Rancis, we knock Inui. Believe yeah. me. Yeah. Right. I do believe we'll, you. We'll knock him. I love Duke. For red. Yeah. For red. Yeah. I love Duke. I, 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 I would be pulling him. I would be pulling for him massively in that fight. Yeah. I love uh, what he does. We got PowerPoint pass him. We got PowerPoint pass anyway. I told you. I, I, believe me. Rancis will knock him anyway. That fight, we want to go 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 uh, hang out in Africa to train very very well to come yeah. back to US. You know that's what I want the uh, the promoters to do. I would like to go back to Africa to work very very hard to come back here. You understand? Because sometimes you know the uh, the sometimes depend on the the weather the weather. Yeah. So yeah. I think yeah. That Africa will be good for me to stay there to come back. Because because you, of my my records, I can't I can't I can't quit boxing. I still want to come back. So are you at all? Guys can are, do that something. Are you at all concerned about the ring rust? Do you feel like you need tune up fights before you get into a big fight? Sure. Yeah. yeah. I need to. to We're not like a fight. Yeah. We test anyway. That's what I, we want right. We now. want right now. Yeah. You want to jump right into uh. In a, 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 a fight with uh in in, in a way, sure, sure. Immediately. If it tomorrow, let like, if it tomorrow, Seth, we want him. I like we that. Pass everybody. That's the right attitude. Yeah, we gotta seize pass the moment. Everybody. You know, in a way. Yeah, you know me fighting Casimiro. You know Casimiro was like Casimiro. I wasn't in in. I know Casimiro is a very good boxer. I didn't take that from him, right? Very good. Yeah. yeah, I don't think that from him, but you know the work that I have to put, uh, I have to put on. I didn't, so I think I have to go back to Africa to prepare very well to come back to the US to fight. Yeah, all the best boxes. That's what I. That's my aim right now.
So you think doing camp, doing camp in Africa is the way to go? Yeah, I, in Africa, I would love to be in Africa too. You know, so I want the promoters to know. You know, any promoter that want to come, yeah, he's my manager here. You know, we want to go to Africa and start preparing very well. If you guys are the media, is that I can put the fight on. And now, how did you get into boxing? Uh, you know, uh, what led you to boxing? Please come again. How old were you when you got into boxing, and what got you into it? Oh, well, boxing, you know, I, I, I love fighting on the street, right? I love to fight on the street. That's 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 something that Very nice, brings too. me into the game of boxing. Yeah, you know, so it's like, <laughs> what is fierce? I don't know what is fierce. In the ring, yeah, but, you know, I'm a cool guy. You see me around when I'm not in yeah. the ring. But when I'm in the ring, I'm a different kind of person. Right. Yeah. So a lot of things motivate me to come to. Um, and where we come from, we love boxing. You know, Azuma Nelson, Ike Bazooka Quarter, this is where we all come from. So, uh, Bukum, you know, that is where yeah. we, we, you know, we love we love boxing. We love to fight. Yeah, you just we named a couple of good ones right there. Yeah, yeah, you just named a couple of really good ones right there, man. Especially Azuma Nelson, man. The professor, forget about it. Man. Yeah, one, of the, yeah, yeah, one of the greatest. Yeah. He's a great professor. Yeah. He's a great professor. He, you know, I want, I, I want to be like him because he's a, he's a great man. Yeah. Yeah. We so need a fight. Uh, uh, we need the first fight. Yeah. You want to watch the first fight. Watch the first fight. You search and then watch anyway. We don't go like a three rounds. First fight, we don't go four rounds. Five rounds self. The person who yeah. knock out. Retire. Knock out. Yeah. Yeah, so well, that's anyway, what like to do. anyway, you have to take time. Mo bullet, we come to the bullet anyway. Yeah, yeah. believe me for sure. <laughs> we're not joking, we're not joking. We, we shock know. the world. Yeah, I want to shock the yeah. world. This world is in me. I didn't think they were dropping by, the 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 by the joke. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm I'm not, I'm not right. I just want to come back again to shake up the, uh, the loose. You know, you give us one fight. Give us one fight. Yourself, you shock. Yeah. Give us one fight. You shock. Yeah. You shock. Well, I, I, you, you, I mean, first of all, Duke, I would have to say though that you know, uh, even though you've had a layoff, man, I would still mm -hmm. think that you would be, uh, you know, right there in a title picture. Though, I mean, you know, your record certainly should grant you, uh, you know, uh, to be put high up on the, uh, you know, high up on the ladder. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the re my record's massive, you know. So it's like that's why I still want to come because, ha, huh, in it even even I would, I would love to I fight uh, Casimero back because me I'm a boxer. You, you can beat me twice. Yeah. You see Casimero, Casimero. Every everywhere you guys saw him, tell him he should wait. He should he should be careful. Yeah. We beat Casimero before he will stop boxing. Yeah, I didn't like yeah. that fight either. Back in yeah. the war, the place you are. Back yeah. in the war. We beat him before he stopped uh, boxing. Yeah. Yep. That's metal. We beat him any, before any, he stopped anyway, boxing. Anyway, that. Anyway, anyway, he will go. We chase him. We go and beat him. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's best way to get him. I, I, I would that's say that's, that's, probably, the best, that's no probably the boxer. best way to get him in the ring, too. That's probably what he's doing now. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's, that's probably that's the best that's way to get him in the ring. Sick. He's sick. Yeah. You know, you feel like. And now, do you feel like, uh, you know, do you feel like, uh, is there something that you see in uh, uh, in a way that makes you feel like you can beat him? Like, what are the weaknesses that you see? Yeah, you know, anyway can punch. You can't take yeah. that from him, you know. No he has timing, you know. But my boxing, I am like, um, you know, I, I've been in the boxing for, for um, juvenile, from juvenile to where I am today, I started yeah. boxing like eight years to now. You understand? So when I said I want to fight you to beat you, I know what I'm saying. Because yeah. growing up, this is where I, I begin to know uh, good boxes. You are um, starting as a uh, juvenile. You, you, you begin to know the, the, your, your colleagues, the young ones. Everybody have his own different way of fighting, right? So it's like me... Still, the reason why I stick that I want to beat that guy because I know who I am and I know what I can do right. when they give me the chance, when they give me right. the opportunity. 
Yeah. Now and, now, and anyway, somebody that you have to you have to know how to receive punch very well. Yeah. Like some people, like you know, uh, this guy, uh, what is his name? This Mer Mexican boxer, um, um, or oh, what is it? Chavez? You know, Chavez can receive punch. Yeah. You know, Chavez is very good in that. You know, these these are the these are the things that make people become great. This time in our area. People scared to 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 receive punch because they yeah. feel like oh no I have to retire. You understand? Yeah. So it's like me fighting Casmero. I even if you guys can watch it, I was willing to fight back, but the legs was not there. I'm not ready. Yeah. You know we African we don't give up just like that. So I was like, come on, man, let me go, let me go. But the referee do his job. You can't take that from the refs. That's mm -hmm. their job. They are there to help you. But at the time, it's got to be upsetting to have the fight stop, though, right? I mean, it's yeah. But what are you gonna do? He's saving my life because right. boxing. We, we when when something happened to you that day is not your day. You have to take it like that and right. go back to do your corrections and come back again. And that is a that good is way to look at it because a lot of fighters don't give those guys a lot of credit. You know, what I mean, like, that's nice that you're saying that. Oh yeah, because 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 you know sometimes you you can't you can't be like oh I'm you know you can be you but sometimes you have to let them know they are doing their job. Mm -hmm. My job is go inside to fight. You understand? Their job is to ref to be be there for me to save my life. Right. Yeah. So they do they do it well for me. Now I'm healthy. I'm ready. There is any fight. Anyway, Casmero, hey, I always calling them my, their name when I'm jogging, when I'm training. Yeah. They're in my mind. And today, I thank all you guys come as media so that you guys can blow it. So that, is, is, there right. like, is, there like, is there like a timetable on this return? Like, when do you expect to be in the ring next? Like, when would you hope it to be by? Probably, um... Well, I'm working on with my manager and co-manager here. We're working on, on it. So probably very soon, you guys will know it. Great. We appreciate yeah. that. We mentally, appreciate that. Mentally, I'm working on my mind. Spiritually, I have to be strong. Most important. That's why if I want to fight anyway, Casmero, hey, I want to go back to Africa to prepare very, very well before coming here. Yeah. Trust me. Because I have to cause, I have to shock the world. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not finished. Well, it's but, certainly going to be big news. The first guy that comes along and beats, uh, 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 yeah, uh, in a way, that's going to be big, you know, because nobody has gotten to this guy yet. Now, no, now, yeah, yeah. Now, if Everybody's you do end up fighting him, if you do end up fighting him, how does that fight? How does that fight play out? And how does how does it end? Um, the fight. Yeah, it's going to be a remarkable fight because this fight. Hey, hey, trust me. It, it will make it like a block. Even, even if you make it like a block. If, if, they, if block. they want they want us to come to uh, uh, Japan or Japan where, or Jap we go and beat him hey. in Japan. It's gonna be yeah. like uh, uh you, Azuma, man. Azuma, Japan. Azuma Nelson uh, yeah. just finished. You, you guys remember that fight? Yes, of course. Are you Azuma kidding? Nelson course. was very finished. This is what I wanted. Yeah, this is how I want it. I want it to happen like that. So, 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 uh, uh, if you were to fight, uh, uh, Inoue, uh, uh, do you knock him out? Is that how the fight ends? Yeah, because I have to receive his punches to come in because yeah. that guy can punch. You understand? But you will knock him out. I will knock him. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay. going to work. That's why I said, knock I will knock him because I, that's why I said I want to go back to Africa because I know that guy can work very well. Yeah, we work very hard. It's not about boat, it's not about bragging, it's not about big mouth. The guy That's can happening. work very hard. That's why he's he's knocking the guys. Yeah. You this interview understand? is gold. So yeah, for me, as a as a great boxer like me, I want to go back to Africa to prepare myself very well. To yeah. put my bullet in me to come back here in America. We might know? go three hours tonight, boys. That too, just like what you were talking about with the weather. And we were talking about the food earlier, like you're yeah. acclimated to all that kind of stuff. You're acclimated to oh, it all. Food yeah. Again. Yeah. You know, maybe, yeah. maybe when this fight happens, I'll be glad and 
I think you guys will be my uh, the medias to come to Africa. You guys will come to Africa to take the videos of you know everything I do. If you we're guys there, we're there, Duke. We're at your service, yeah. my man. I love what you do. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that'd be an honor. That'd be an honor. That'd be sure. an absolute honor. Yeah, I mean, sure. I, you know, I'm just happy. I'm just happy to see you back, man. I mean, and 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 I think, man, you know, with your name back in the picture again, I think a fight mm -hmm. with you in. Uh, uh, Anawi is, uh, you know, has the potential to be fight of the year. How, how old are you? Right, I'm 32 years. We, I can't, me, I me can't and the, anyway, with the same age. You look 25 to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you look young. Yeah, I know you do, man. Yeah. It's all that good weather. You see that, man? We're riding away here in the cold weather, man. That's why. Yeah. We're yeah. Prepping. Yeah. Take yeah. us with you. I'll pack a bag and go there and not only cover it, I'll move in. I'll move in, Duke. <laughs> You'll never get you rid of me to, over there. Yeah, you guys have to come to Africa to take the videos <laughs> and everything. You guys will enjoy Africa. Yeah, and and it would be an it would be an honor covering your comeback too. So oh, sure. and so so your record right now is twenty four and one. Do you have any kind of a, an idea or a time frame in your mind of how long you'd like to keep fighting for? Oh yeah, probably now I want to come and shake myself to, to see, you know, maybe right. uh, if I can stay in the game for three years more or something. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. you certainly want to get out and still have all your faculties intact. Yeah. You know, that's important. Yeah. That's important. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. I mean, you can't put a price on yourself. So, 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 so sir, we want to. Uh, one fight I love him. and then sit down. Do you watch? We want one yeah. fight. Just sit down. Yeah. Okay, so one tune up fight. And a get... fight will bring it. And a fight. Any fight. Any fight. Yeah, right. One up. Yeah. That one is a one up. Well, that's what we're, we're trying to do. We're trying to one call Anui out right here. Yeah. yeah. Right? We're calling it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, you, there's like a number of great guys at those way, like Stephen Fulton's at that way. In a lot the of way. Yeah, you know, you know, Stephen Fulton, uh, this that guy is a very good boxer too. But you know, yeah, I don't know why he was not. You know, I don't yeah. know why he was not. Any and, and he very, made it, mistake. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, he's a sharp guy. Yeah, and it's also a very, very good tough. boxer. It's also very tough because he gets you to come to his home turf a lot. A lot of those fights are in Japan too, so he's got that home. He's got that home field advantage, you know. That's what I'm saying. If if the same in Africa, hey, I'm gonna be happy. I'm. I will be. I will be like a, a king. Like right, right. What am yeah. I gonna do? You know what am I gonna do? And I'm gonna enjoy it. You know, Maybe. fighting in somebody's home sometimes yeah. is very hard. Right. You if Inouye comes to Africa and fights you, even if he wins, he might not go home. Right. <laughs> no, no, he, he cannot go home. He, 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 even if, if, if you win a fight, he cannot... We'll feed him to the lions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be a lion. lion. He will meet lions. Yeah, gonna, yeah, that's right. He's yeah. coming to meet. He's coming to meet Duke the Lion. That's right, man. That's it. The Lion. And man, you feel like? I, I, do you have any concerns? Are you worried at all about jumping into a big fight, given the fact that you've had a long layoff? Probably. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a little big, a little bit uh, worried because you you have to shake, and I think. Even shaking, shaking, I'll be going to fight a good fire because of the rankings that I am right now. So it's like yeah. me taking a big fight. I have to do it. I have to yeah. take it. I've yeah. been there for a long time. So I know what it, it takes to be there. Yeah. It's in my mind. You understand? So once I have the, the passion in me, hey, don't worry. Yeah. So what is that? We'll go and take that title. So even that when. Title. So Before even if that even if Duke goes back to Africa and trains, what is what is your least favorite thing when you're in training camp to do? Oh, that that's my that's my secret, you know, because I want to be anyway. And when I speak it here, anyway, we hear it somewhere, and he will use that against me. So, so we that's can, my secret. So, so we I can, have so I'll go there to eat my find food, my prop, my 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 favorite food that I want, I like. 
and I would want to train hard for this year. fight. And yeah. anyway, we see that it's see it, it meet is meter. Meet is maker. I like that. Yeah, yeah. it means yeah. somebody. You see, you see, you like see, uh, jollof, jollof rice. <laughs> Anyway, it will stop jollof rice in Chinese. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, yeah. Spaghetti yeah. Right. It will stop. Enjoy, enjoy them making hang, hang, hang. No. <laughs> Three days he sleep. Three days he will sleep. Three it's gonna days. Be, it's going to be a great fight. Me fight. You're going to punch him so hard that he's going to sleep for three days. Because anyway, he's, coming to, three days. he's coming to face, uh, he's coming to face the real man. The yeah. real champion. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I, love I, know, I, know I love all this, but this is worth staying up late for. Fighting those guys that is fighting, I don't, I can't take that from them. Everybody's good, all yeah. of them is good. Yeah. Anyway, he, he's a good boxer, he, he know the timing, he know everything. But trust me, I'm great. Are That's you worried? I want to fight. Are, are you worried at all about Anui's power? He's obviously known for his power. He knocks out, he's got a very high knockout percentage, yeah, because. He still is still fighting. You understand, and I'm not fighting. That's why they see that he has uh, uh, the knockout percentage, right? But I'm still fighting. I'm also gonna do the same. Yeah, you do have a lot of knockouts. Yeah, you yeah. Do have a lot of knockouts. It would you be know, a fire fight. Everybody is scared, scared, every scared of um to fight um this guy, uh, Casimero. Casimero has a good job, good stamina, right? Yeah, but. I take this fight two weeks. Yeah. Because I want to prove myself. I said, no, my manager said, do you want to fight? I said, yeah, I want to fight him. Why not? He's a boxer. I'm a boxer. I'm ready. Right. Let's do it. Do. You understand? Yeah. But the way I the, the way I think is it, not the level I am. So now I've experienced that. I have to go back and, you know, work mentally. Well, 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 training before coming to that place. Now, what about any well, weight? Never. And what about weight changes? You know, uh, uh, have you thought about going up in weight at all? Yeah, probably. I'm planning to go go up because that is where you have to fight the crackers. You fight the good boxers, the best ones. Right. Yeah. To, to prove yourself, to sell yourself, to let the, the world know who you are. Could you could you see yourself getting up to like 130, 135? I think 120. Yeah. Is tops for you? Yeah. 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 Because of my size. Yeah, my 120. Yeah. Why are you short? Sure? Yeah. Yeah. Not too, but yeah. Not too bad, but yeah. <laughs> 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 no, too. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, we're both very tall, man. We're both six foot four. Yeah. Come again. Six foot four. That's yeah, how tall I we guess. are. Come That's again, how tall man. we are. Six foot four. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I can see. I yeah. can see. Um, 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 uh, middleweight. <laughs> this middleweight. That that's middleweight. Yeah. Right. I don't know. We might even. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. The scale keeps saying heavyweight, but I'd be a, I'd be a heavyweight right now, Tim. Yeah. Heavyweight. <laughs> then you you are in, you are too eating many, too much. Yeah, I got a you few too many too meals. Much. I got a few too many meals under the belt. <laughs> now your manager there or your co-manager there really believes in you a lot, though. Yeah, because he he be around me. You know, if if I have a, a different life, he know he know boxing. He know Azuma Nelson. He know those. Champion, he have been around champions before, right? So if yeah. I'm doing something that I cannot get to the top, he will tell you guys, and he will never speak like the ways, you know, with confidence. But once he be around me and he know what I can do, I can't take that from him. He that's why I'm calling him into our meeting so that he can talk. Now, what about this right here for a fantasy fight? Uh, uh. Who would you pick in a fight between Azuma Nelson and Ike Corte? Who wins that I'm gonna fight? I'm going to pick out two of them. Yeah. I, I love I love two of them. I love both of them, you know, because <laughs> but who, I would love both of them. who would win in a fight? Willing. Yeah, between those two. Ike 
Bazuga and uh, Azuma. Yeah. I, you know, I love, I love, I love both. <laughs> I do too. But Azuma, Azuma knows he's a great, great, great. Uh oh. Did we just lose him? <laughs> Absolutely mysterious circumstances. He floated <laughs> into our meeting, and his manager is the greatest hype man of all time. Oh, sorry. Right back in again. There this, he is. This question, this question, you know. Because I'm 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 face of boxing in Africa, so no, like no I no, go... it's a boxer, so you don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't. Want and the time know. Azuma is fighting, it's a small boy. Yeah, Azuma is a great. Yeah. All the bosses in Ghana, Azuma is a great boxer. Yeah. Azuma is a great boxer. Legend. If Azuma talk to you, he said, "Do this, do this. You make it. You make it. <laughs> if you don't understand, Azuma, stop. Azuma." He, he tell this guy you you take world champion you tell yeah. tell to uh, to uh, world champion if Azuma told you it's a blessed man if he told you 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 take title clean yeah. title you take it right. yeah and any so that anyway he will sleep three days he don't wake up he will sleep <laughs> <Yeah>. three days <laughs> this fight, I'm gonna, it's I'm a gonna, blood I'm it's gonna, a blood I'm blood I'm this fight, a black. when this fight happened, I'm going to train with Azuma Nelson and I, Bazooka Court. You know he should be you, terrified right now. Uh, we yeah. determine that guy. That guy, yeah. yeah. He, yeah. I told him if he, he jockey, he should call him name. Yeah. Yeah. This fight, yeah. I, I would love I would love to go around Azuma Nelson and I, Bazooka. Yeah. And I know you're in advise, trouble. Advise me. You know, he loves me. He advising me. You know, so... We don't chase woman. It's like, we don't chase we go woman. there. We, we don't you know what woman. to tell me if I'm ready. And and you have to believe in your own before somebody also put his belief in you. I agree. That's so, very well put. For me, yeah. being in the boxing ring for long, Azuma also have been there. You know, so it's going to be big fight. Big fight to the world. Big fight. Yeah. Fight in any way. And the way I'm talking to you guys, when I see him, I'm I'm the one who's gonna speak. Yeah. Because yeah. anyone cannot speak the speak. He's gonna speak Chinese. Well, no one's gonna see this. Yeah. There's this this is my dream. This is my dream. This I wish my I had dream. Did it last night when we were in the row with those Japanese dudes. Why? <laughs> I showed it to him and like bring us back to anyway. I know. Yeah, there were a lot of Japanese press at the fight last night, too. Yeah, there were. But uh, this fight is a dream. Yeah, and I think it'll become a reality. I think it'll be more than just a dream. I mean, I, I, you know, I don't think there's a lot of guys around that weight division who can give him the type of challenge that you can give him. Yeah, because me, I'm from Africa. You know, we Africans, we Africans, it's not about Africans, but we, where we come from. Right. This is what we eat. We eat fights. We love to fight. Yeah. We love it. Like how the Mexicans also do. Like how... Uh, those Japanese, these people, that's how we all do. We love to fight yeah, from the yeah. street to the ring. We all do that. We all love it. So it's like me taking this fight. Hey, I have to go back to Africa to work hard there. To come yeah. and fight. Boy, anyway, I anyway, I anyway want me to fight him. Hey, I'm coming there. We, I want to, I'm ready for that. I gotta start saying so, it like you say it, Duke. How does he say it? In a way, in a way, that's the that's the correct pronunciation. Okay. Oh well, I apologize because I've been off. I've been off. Uh, I've been calling him a Nui. I'm pretty sure that I hear the press call him a Nui sometimes. So that's the correct pronunciation is in a way. In a way. Okay. Okay. All right. Point well taken, man. So, uh, so uh, in closing, uh, I'd like to say uh, that we really, really appreciate you coming on here and doing this, man. It's really been an Thank honor you. getting a chance to talk to you, man. Thank you. Yeah. And I also appreciate you guys too because I haven't talked to none of anybody. But well, we appreciate now that. I'm mentally ready and I know what I'm coming to give back to the world. So I'm ready to talk to you guys. So I appreciate you guys too. Yeah. I'm, re I'm ready to we see it. I'm ready to see it, baby. I'm ready to see it too. You will. You will. Hey, Duke, <laughs> can we ask you one favor? Can we have some front? Uh, is it okay if we have some ringside seats? Please. Oh yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. 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 Anytime, get us on the anytime. get us on the list, Duke. Yeah, get us on the list. Yeah, we want to walk in the ring with you. We want to walk in the ring with you. Oh yeah, if if you guys want to walk with the ring, yeah, my manager is here, my co-manager, they he know it. So you guys, once we, all, we are talking, we can we can meet together and you guys can go together. Yeah, go on, on, go on. see me walking out there, dude. Yeah, yeah this right one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah this is a moment. <laughs> we want massive, massive crowd. Massive, yeah, you know. Yeah, remarkable crowd. You know, something oh, yeah. that was the eighties, nineties. Yeah, Ali, those Joe Fraser. Yeah, yeah, this fight will be like uh, Ali versus Joe Fraser. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, he was, yeah. He's gonna put on a master class. Anyway, don't punch. I punch. Yeah, I'm a puncher. Yeah, I yeah. can punch. Yeah, so I'm anyway, you should be ready. Good, I'm not like the guys he beat. No, Funton, uh, Stevie Funton or something. I don't know the name, yeah. but no, you're right. If I was wait. I'm gonna knock him. Yeah. There you heard no, it. Man. I'm gonna knock. I'm. I'm. A, I will stand on him and knock him. Yeah. Well, he's got one coming, man. He's been doing I'm it to everybody else. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. Dude, first, tomorrow. And I'll tell you what. That first guy that does it, man, is definitely gonna make himself. Uh, he's definitely gonna help himself in the boxing world because it, you know yeah. someone's gonna come along and knock him off the throne. Mm, mm, you know, mm. might as well be yeah. you, Duke. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it, man. And I do hope you'll stay in touch, man. And, and hopefully we can have you on again. We enjoy talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Me, me too. I'm enjoying talking to you guys. Yeah. So we you appreciate guys, you a lot. Man. We can talk. Yeah. We Bless. appreciate you. We'll definitely do it again soon, man. We will. We will. We will. Yeah. Even before the, before I will fight you, I, I will let you guys. We're going to do the interview again. Please. You guys want the Africa yeah, for some food, food, Duke. Get me that. You want a full food, 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 all right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you come to my camp, when the fight is uh, uh, announced, announced, you guys will come to the camp and eat the full food. Appreciate Trust me. It. Right. Yeah. You and guys will come and enjoy the full food. That's yeah. right. Go, manager. You're going to prepare the full food. He's yeah. Gonna, he's going to yeah. prepare the full food. That's Have a lot right. of ready <laughs> for us. We need, hey, soup. we need an authentic, dude. Yeah. I'll give you a granola soup. Granola soup. Yeah, we need an authentic. Original. You put it on the table. Granola soup. If you I'm put it on the table, ready. I'm eating it, coach. That one, that one, it's cake. That one, it's cake. Cake, cake, cake. That's right. Come. It's not yeah. Chinese food. This is not Chinese food. It's no not Chinese food. It's cake. No Chinese food here. Hell no. Yeah. No Chinese food. We we're gonna <laughs> after knocking anyway. No Chinese food. Yeah, because of I want to fight anyway. I used to go to the uh, Chinese restaurant to buy, and I give them warning. Hey, yeah. you guy call anyway. You should yeah. be careful. Yeah, he, yeah, he should be careful. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely do it again soon, Duke. We appreciate you, man. Thanks for doing this, man. It was great talking to you, Thank man. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Thank Good you. night, bro. Nice. Take care. Nice. We appreciate you, brother. All Talk right. to you soon. Thank you. Yep. You too. All right. Man, we had a home run on that one, man. That one was worth that one was worth the price of admission, man. Duke Micah, who I've been talking to for a while, man. Uh uh, you know, he's got an open invitation to pop on, man. He's had one for a while, man, and he dropped in tonight while we were talking about our adventures, uh, our night out last night seeing boxing. And then lo and behold, in comes a guy that hopefully people have not forgotten about. The great Duke Micah, the baby face Terminator, all the way from Ghana, Africa, man. Hopefully nobody's forgotten him. He hasn't fought since 2020, and he's already dropping the name of one of the biggest fish out there, man. I'll say his first name wrong. Naoya. Naoya. Inoue. Inoue. Yeah. A knockout but artist is over. First name is Naoya. Yeah. Natalia. <laughs> I don't know, but the baby face Terminator is saying that he is back, and obviously, man, his he's pumped. We know his coach is pumped. Oh yeah, coach yeah, is yeah. His coach is ready to rumble himself. You know what? We should get his coach together with John Fury. Oh man, you never get a word in edgewise. Oh, those... I love the coach, <laughs> and that's no disrespect to the coach, man. That's what a good coach slash motivator slash hype man does. Absolutely. He's Absolutely. got his guy believing, man, that, hey, you know what I mean? You're going to get back active again, and you're going to smash this Japanese kid. Yeah. 
No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're Duke Micah. You're that dude. And he very well could be. He looks like he could be. Absolutely. He looks fantastic, man. I mean, and he sounds very determined, man. He Dude, knows you know what he needs. Crazy, you know how crazy it would really be to go to Africa? I know. That would be nuts, dude. I know. I, I I, mean, that's something I would take the wife with me, for sure. Yeah. You know. I wouldn't go see someplace cool like that and, like, exclude her, you know? That's a crazy. That's I would just say, look, honey, it's going to be a lot of time at the hotel. I'm going to be over there fucking around doing boxing shit and stuff. And, like, <laughs> you know, you, you know, getting content and getting a, a glimpse. Into, yeah, it'd be great to go over there and shoot, like, and, like, film his his training and stuff. That would be so nuts, dude. Yeah. I put it together, dude. I'd put it together and have someone professionally like like you know, package it up, man, and make it like a little documentary. A fucking week's vacation at your job and just fucking go to Africa for filming. No doubt. Yeah. No. Same. Yeah, like once Duke is like a couple weeks in the training camp and he's already kind of, you know, he's already kind of gotten into his routine, you know? Yeah. Well, so they're about like week fucking two or three. Yeah, it'd be great, man. That was an honor. That was an honor uh, getting the chance to talk to Duke Micah. Great that he just interjected himself, shoehorned himself into the, this episode. I'm glad he did that, man. It was great to talk to him. Great to talk to his coach, man. Uh, the babyface Terminator is back. Yeah. You heard it here first on Off the Couch Boxing. He wants You really did. You really did. Yeah. If we're not giving you the greatest conversations in the world. Last guy, that last guy tried to say. He had the first Ike Bayabuchi interview. Well, you can't do it this time because Duke said it on our interview that he hasn't talked to anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no shenanigans. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was lying about Ike Bayabuchi too, though. He was because ours yeah. was the first. Yeah. And by the way, ours is much better. It's uh, uh over an hour and 10 minutes of content of Ike Bayabuchi. Ike had a great time with us. Yeah. Ike had a great time with us. Ike's an old friend. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, he's done his best interview uh, since his uh, his trials and tribulations and everything he's been through, the ordeals or whatever. He's done his best, most in-depth interview with Off the Couch Boxing. Well, listen, man, it's a school night. I'm starting to yawn. I don't sure. know what to do, but I got to shout out Gary Busey and say that I can go 15 seconds with anything and if you're not liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, something is officially wrong with you. It, yeah. If you're walking around out there calling yourself a boxing fan, telling your friends that your hobbies amongst your hobbies are watching boxing, you know, training boxing, doing anything boxing related, and you're not tapped into this particular channel, pack it up. Something is really wrong with you, man, because you aren't getting the shoes off type interviews with <laughs> with legends, luminaries, guys on the come up, man, guys on the come back. I Who, mean, what podcast has Duke Micah's uh, a Ghana manager screaming in the background? Nobody. 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 The only place wild enough to pull off something like that is right here on Off the Couch Boxing. <laughs> always, you know, always the most fun. We take uh, them, take people as they come. They truly come. Yeah. That's them fun. everybody. Just fun, informative conversations, man, that could go in any direction, you know? Yeah. We might have somebody on here and not really talk all that much boxing. You know, the first thing I jumped into with with uh, Derek Webster was uh, talking singing and music, mm -hmm. you know? So make sure that you like and follow us on Facebook as well. That's an important place to keep up with all kinds of stuff. Always always reels up there and, and, and pictures and stuff up there, man, uh, you know, of stuff that we're doing or stuff that we're putting out or whatever. So you can get good updates there. And definitely like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, man. Uh, I mean, th there's nobody doing what Off the Couch Boxing does on the internet, you know. Not at all. This is this is not your this is not your mama's uh, interview right here. So yeah. So remember, man, if you want to be a champion, make sure that you roll with the champs.